You know, Dash Between the Years, to me, it's not your birth, it's not your death, it's what you do in between those years. Sometimes it's kind of scary who, who you find <laughs> and who you meet in making these drawings. And sometimes it's, it's pretty peaceful. Ah, the story. Man, there's really no way to get around it without saying it. But yeah, in the last year, um, I lost three people that were very close to me. Drawing has been, uh, for the most part, the best way for me to uh, work through those losses and allow those feelings and emotions to run through me and come out on the other end when I go into the studio. Some days are easier and some days are harder. And sometimes on those harder days, I draw flowers. I try to keep things pretty chill, you know, in my personal life, my work life. I think being in the studio, that's where I deal with most of my conflict. So in a lot of my drawings, whether it be the portraits or the still lifes, I incorporate negative space, area of the paper that generally isn't touched. For me, that's just, you know, it's a perspective thing. I, I don't always feel like I need to busy up the paper. I enjoy the negative space. It, it allows us to rest a little bit. It allows our eyes to rest. Some advice that was given to me while I was at the University of Kansas as an undergrad. If you're gonna be an artist, keep your overhead low. So that's something I've tried to do and that has allowed me now in my golden years. You know, I work for myself. It's a bit more of a rigmarole, tracking down jobs and whatnot, but I have, good girl, Lolly. I have that freedom. If I wanna go fishing, I can go fishing. If I want to go clamming, I can go clamming. You know, you still got to be responsible with your clients and your job, but I've kind of set myself up to have that freedom. Because drawing for me is, is work, and that requires me to be present. If I allow myself to be vulnerable, then the viewer or the audience, in some regards, has to be vulnerable themselves. And I think so often vulnerability is seen as a weakness, but I disagree with that. I think it's more of a strength. And uh, so in something like this piece, almost to paradise, um, obviously focal point is the face, but the, the rest of it's kind of just moving pigment around to create a composition. Uh, mixed in with Conte and some charcoal. Um, a lot of times I, I rely on these ghost marks to help bring the face or whatnot into the foreground and uh, you know create an environment. And I think they ask questions, you know, and those questions vary from viewer to viewer. If somebody takes that time, they're having their conversation now. You know, my job's over, and it's just between them and the drawing. And I think that's the ultimate goal, or one of them, you know, to allow people to come to them in an open way and have a conversation. That boy, Mango. Come on. Come on. That boy. <laughs> Am I getting paid for this? <laughs> My first and last film. <laughs> no, no, thank you, man.